In this video, we're going to show you how to troubleshoot the NVR in your security camera system. This could even be a DVR. The only difference is what kind of cameras it takes in the back. So I've got a large NVR here. It takes two hard drives, and here's the monitor output from it. I'm going to show you how you can actually mess up the video display on your NVR. So let's zoom in a little bit. So here I'm going to go into main menu. Start. So now I'm zoomed into the monitor of this NVR and I'm going to log in by right clicking in main menu. If you receive this NVR and you poked around and you happen to go in here and said, oh, you know what, I want the best number possible. So this computer monitor I'm using is 1080p, and if I were to set it to 4K, that's 3840 by 2170, it's going to lock me out if it actually takes those changes. I'm going to apply and try to see what happens. Depending on the age of your recorder that you have from before or the firmware on it, it may or may not ask for confirmation. So when you set the wrong resolution, the screen goes blank just like this. On some NVRs, it's going to stay that way, and you, you're, you're kind of locked out. The only thing you can do is access the NVR through its web interface. You have to use a computer to do that, and that's what we're going to show in this video. But also, uh, some NVRs have this thing where it won't take that change. It's going to confirm that from you. So it's going to go blank for a little bit, and let's say for 30 seconds. What you don't see here is it's asking, perhaps, on some of the recorders whether these changes work for you. You have to press yes. If it doesn't see you pressing yes, it's going to revert back to the last resolution that worked for you, which in case was 1080p. So for this video, I'm demonstrating that I've kind of locked myself out, and I don't see any output. Commonly, we get customers thinking that their recorder is not working, so it's just like this. As you see, it was just a working NVR and all of a sudden it went blank and sometimes customers think their cameras are not working. Well, cameras are one thing and then there's a recorder. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to troubleshoot the NVR or DVR in your security camera system. So this one video will apply to any NVR that's two hard drives or more. So let's take a look at this or even one hard drive and more. The premises are the same, it's just the power coming into the NVR is kind of different. So let's look at the unit itself. So I've got my NVR and it's very common to mistake, oh, I don't see anything, my NVR is not working. I gotta go send it back, something is wrong with it. So let's do this, this is how you troubleshoot it. First, you turn the power off. I'll show you what the power connection looks like in a second. Disconnect all the connections on the back of this thing. And let's look at the back of it. So here you've got the power connector and there is a power switch. It toggles on and off. So that power supply uh, takes a 110 cord in here. There are many NVRs that do that. Or you may have a smaller NVR that looks like this. And it has a power supply that goes in there but no power button. So regardless of what you have, the steps are nearly identical. So the first thing we do is we connect back the network connection, the HDMI, which is for your monitor, and then the power. I'm, I don't have any cameras connected on purpose because I'm troubleshooting it. You have to do this before you think, oh, my cameras are not working, or my NVR are not working, it's not working. Sometimes customers don't tell us that, oh, they don't see anything on the screen whatsoever. That means you just kind of lock yourself out by changing the resolution. In other instances, you may see that camera grid screen. That means your NVR is fine, but you don't see one camera there. That's possibly the camera itself that went bad. So I'm going to go back and connect everything. This is my HDMI connection. This is my network connection. And this is my power connection. So I'm going to show you what happens when I turn on this NVR. On the back, there's a power button. 
I'm gonna turn that on and watch the LEDs on this thing. So I light up a little bit. Unfortunately, I have to squeeze this camera into the back of the NVR and I've got a lot of space restrictions here. Pardon me for that, but as you can see, there's a light blinking on here. That's a data connectivity light. I'm also trying to listen to the fan spinning on the power supply. I'm looking for this LED here lighting up. I'm also looking for the monitor. In this case, the logo came back up. Sometimes if you set the wrong resolution, just rebooting it may get rid of those settings. The other thing I'm looking for is a post beep. That beep is called the post beep. That is a signal that the NVR finished booting up. If you don't hear that on your NVR, then of course there may be a problem. Make sure you're in a quiet environment and you give yourself plenty of time for that post beep to happen. On some NVRs, it may take up to five minutes. Well, guess what? I still have no signal. So what do I do? I know there's a post beep. That means the NVR is booting up properly. I hear the fan spinning and the power is getting to this thing. And let's look at the network connection one more time. Now I actually even see a green light on here. That's solid. Make sure to check on yours too. That means data connectivity is happening. So now in the next part of the video, I'm gonna show you how to access this recorder through your Windows computer over the local network so you can actually change the resolution back on the NVR or DVR so you can see it on your monitor again.